Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to format our document into two columns and multi columns. In the previous sessions, we have formatted our document into one column, that is the default format. Two columns are generally used in research papers, journals, large books, etc. Documents like magazines, newspapers, posters, etc. are typeset in multiple columns. To typeset the entire document into two columns, just mention two column as a parameter while mentioning the document class. Let us look at the demo. We have our lorem ipsum text written already and we have built and run it. Let us add two column in the article. Two column, build and run. See the difference? Our document is split into two columns. Let us go back to our slides. One can typeset a document into multiple columns as well using the multi call package and writing the content between the begin and end of multi calls environment. Let us see a demo. So, we write slash use package multi call. Let us comment out the document class of two column article and have a simple article document class. We copy this, come here, we paste it and we comment this line out. We remove the two column and we come here and we write slash begin multi calls and we write three. Say we want three columns, come here and we end our environment of multi calls. Let us build and run. Bravo, our document has been changed to three column format. Well, now let us add some space between the columns. We do it using the command slash set length. In curly bracket, we write slash c o l u m n s e p column sep and we write 20 points p t. Build and run, there you go. The spacing has increased between these three columns. Well, now let us add a dividing line. So, we do that again using the set length command, but instead of column sep, we write slash column sep rule and we write three points. Three points is nothing but the thickness of the line. Build and run, observe. There you go. You have the lines with these thickness. Let us change the thickness to one. Build and run. The line thickness has reduced to one point. Well, now let us take another example. I have some snippets of three poems which you may know. Row, row, row your boat, Jack and Jill went up the hill and Mary had a little lamb. Well, let us copy these two paragraphs, copy, we come to text studio, we write slash begin multi calls, we write two, we come here and we paste our poem, we build and run. Okay. Of course, this has gone just on the fourth page and we can see, let us make it big. So, we have two poems, row, row, row your boat and Jack and Jill went up the hill. Well, now we want that Jack and Jill went up the hill should come on the next column. So, we just come here and we write slash column break, build and run, there you go. So, the first poem is in column number 1 whereas the second poem is in column number 2. So, using the column break command, you can force a particular text to appear in the next column. Now, let us add one more poem, we go to notepad, we take this, we copy it, we come here and we paste it and since there are three poems, let us make it three columns, build and run. Okay. So, the first poem, the second poem Jack and Jill 
and this is one of the poems of Mary had a little lamb. So, we want that too to start on the next column. So, we write column break, build and run, that is it. First poem, second poem and third poem. So, it is that simple. Now, let us switch back to our slides. So, we saw the set length command, which adjusts the space between the columns. We saw the set length column sep rule command, which denotes the width of the dividing line and column break command forces the content to be placed in the next column. Coming to the end of this session, you can format our document into two columns or multi columns. Thank you, have a nice day.